Hello everybody, hope that you are good. I know it's quite late, sorry, but I've been really busy this week because I've been trying to sell an apartment that I bought as an investment last year. And finally today it's sold, but yeah, I've been really busy uh, talking to potential buyers, negotiating, uh, checking the contracts, going to the notary, etc. So yeah, one thing less to worry about is done. And now I can focus again in the chart. So um, although tomorrow it's Sunday, and I'm posting the usual Bitcoin Sunday update and I'm going to have the things more clear because I have 15 hours or 12 hours until then. So that's a lot of price action to, to see. I have time to look at the data, etc. So I'm going to be able to post a projection of price. Let's see if it plays out or not, <laughs> but hopefully yes. Um, I'm going to be able to tell you what I think is going to happen next week. But I think this video is quite important because I can explain to you my reasoning, what I'm standing at the moment, am I bullish, am I bearish, uh, do I have any concerns, I do, I have one this long week here, we're going to talk about this long week for a while, that, th that Thursday was, was crazy, I mean, look at that price action, a lot of traders got liquidated here, you know, many short positions with this pump here, was very aggressive, and of course, mostly all those longs there, okay, and breakout traders that were trading, a breakout of this level um so yeah thursday i guess it was a sad day for for many traders um the problem that i have is this long week i think it's a huge imbalance six thousand dollars it is crazy a, a week of six thousand dollars is crazy in the four hour time frame or in the one hour time frame because if you notice guys and if we mark the 50 percent level of this long week we would mark it around here 93,700 or 800, okay? And if we go to the one hour time frame, look at that, it's the same level, the 50%. Now, I'm gonna put a bit higher at 94,000 94, just, just to play safe because uh, it could get filled 45% instead of 50%, considering that it's a round number we could see a bounce from. So yeah, I'm sticking to 94,000 just to play safe, okay? That's the minimum level. Now, at this moment, at this instant, Saturday night, I think that it's likely that we fail this long week, the 50% level at least, next week, okay? That's what I'm thinking. Um, the areas where price could start to drop from towards that level, I have two areas on my mind and I'm gonna show you right now, but I think it's gonna be easier to see in the daily time frame. And I want you to pay attention here, okay? Look at this candle here from Thursday, that red candle that you can see a long week to the upside and a long week to the downside. Now, if we mark the 50% levels of both weeks, the one of the downside is marked and the one to the upside, it's around there. What I've noticed that usually happens when we have this type of candles, with a week in both sides is that first one week gets filled at least the 50% although it can be the 100% all the way between the 50% to the 100% that's possible okay so we could still go higher but usually what we see is at least the 50% level and then we see a reaction from there to the other week of the same candle so yeah uh, based on this I think it's very likely that next week we could see 94,000 the 50% level of this long week, okay? That's what I think. Um, again, tomorrow on Sunday, I'll be able to post um, a price projection based on this, but um, I want to talk about this because I think it's quite important, okay? So careful uh, taking any longs. If you are in a spot, you can be very relaxed because I don't think there is any bearish signal or any top signal as long as I'm aware, uh, okay? Um, in fact, if you notice here, you can see some kind of trend line here of support. So price is simply going up, climbing to the upside, slowly but steady, okay? That's not any uh, top signal, in my opinion. Uh, a, a top signal would be to see a lot of weeks to the upside and price not progressing any further, okay? Because that would mean that the market maker is opening shorts at the highest levels of the chart and then it's going to retrace. But you are not seeing that at all. In fact, in the weekly time frame, look at these two weeks here. You could argue that there is um, very fast buying 
from these levels. And that potentially signal that prices want to continue going higher. Um, by the way, if you notice this week here from the red candle, I've talked about it and I said it was going to get filled and it got filled the 100% of it. So week fill strategy works. Okay, It works in all the time frames. In the weekly time frame, you've seen it there. And the next thing will be to see it working in the four hour time frame with this week and in the one hour time frame with this same week. So um, yeah, mainly I'll tell you two areas where price could drop towards the 50% level of this week. If I'm correct, that's what happen next. One level is this one, the 50%. It got hit, price retraced, but you can see price is trying to make another attempt towards that level. Now, usually when price goes back to the 50% level of a week, let's go to the daily time frame. When price goes back to the 50% level, then it tends to go towards the 100% level, okay? And that would be towards there. So if price goes back to this yellow line, 100 to 1,600, it's very likely that price continues going higher and goes to the 100% of the, of the week, in this case, the daily week. Now, in the lower time frame, and that refers to this time frame, it would be very possible to see, in that case, a sweep of the highs and then a drop to 94,000. And I want you to pay attention to this now, okay? It's very important that price goes back to the 50% of this week, that's 94,000, as soon as possible, for the simple reason that if price starts to go up from here, I'm not gonna trust this move. Because we have a huge imbalance to the downside that needs to get recovered. So that could tell me, okay, at any time, price is gonna need to drop, I don't know, that's around 20% from here, okay? Yeah. 16% from the top. So I would much prefer the price drops to the 94,000 level straight away. If price does something like this, it could even do even a sweep of these highs. If price does something like this, okay, and drops to the 50% level, it'll be much better because then yes, price can continue going higher as, as high as it wants. And I'm not gonna uh, be thinking that that's a move that I cannot trust that can be a very legit move all right so that is what i'm thinking feel please the 50 percent level as soon as possible bitcoin so i think we've covered all my ideas about this long week the next thing would go uh, would be ethereum now ethereum 4000 level that's the level we marked perfect look at that support there and then it goes up okay absolutely perfect price action here um, although to be honest, I was hoping to catch Ethereum a bit lower. It was not possible. Too strong, guys. <laughs> it's way too strong, especially with the Bitcoin pair. And that means that if Bitcoin goes up, Ethereum goes even higher. Okay. So very strong uh, coin at the moment. Um, just broke $4,000 psychological level. Um, all I'm thinking is that if it continues getting an acceptance above this level, about $4,000, I would like to see, to be honest, the daily 50 make catching up with price a bit more. Then if you'd like to see something like this, okay? A move probably between 5,000 to 5,500. I would probably tell you 5,000 is the level I would mark because it's another psychological level, okay? So getting acceptance or even ranging around $4,000 would be very positive because if you notice here, what happens? You get to $4,000, price retraces. You get to $4,000, price retraces. If we range here, then that means the price will continue going higher and that the next target will be $5,000. Now, pay attention to this resistance because if we go to the Bitcoin dominance, you're gonna see the same thing, okay? Support, resistance, right? Look what happened at resistance. Price hits, reject. Hits, reject. Again here, rejection. Now, look what happened here. We range, we do something different. We range here for quite a while, and that tells me price goes up to fill all these inefficiencies, all those candles, those liquidity pools. Price hits exactly the last liquidity pool, deviates as we thought, and now it dumps. That is price action, okay? You'll see this all the time. 
no only with the Bitcoin dominance, not only with Bitcoin or Ethereum. You're gonna see this also in altcoins, in the S&P, in gold, any commodities you can imagine, and forex pairs. It happens everywhere, okay? We can apply the same trading system to any market because everything works based on human behavior and that doesn't change. Now, with the Bitcoin dominance, um, yeah, it's in a free fall from that level because she's done already all the job to fill these inefficiencies here. So now it doesn't have any reason to why it should continue going higher. However, we are here at the weekly 50 May and in the daily time frame, you're going to notice that it's very, very extended at the moment. It, it dropped too fast, uh, which is, is, is nice for the altcoins and we like that, but it's true that it's likely that it recovers uh, some upside momentum, okay? Also, if you notice here in the daily time frame, I'm starting to see weeks to the downside, but price not progressing any further. That could potentially signal that the trend is going to change uh, in the lower time frame. And that's why that I marked this box here around 58%, because I do think that that would be a very strong resistance. Look at all the, all the consolidation that we have here. Open interest is very high in this area, which usually means a strong resistance. Also, the daily 50 MA is going to start going towards there. So you're going to get there at another resistance and then potentially going lower. So that's what I'm, I'm thinking. I think that it's likely and um, very possible that we see the Bitcoin dominance um, taking a breath to 58% or 57.3%. I would probably tell you that it's more likely that if we move this box to the, this area here, that will be more likely between 57 and 58 percent considering the trajectory of the daily 50 ma it would match around there okay and then price should continue going lower which is very good for altcoins now what it means is that um it's about timing right and um, it's something that is not under control but what would happen if the bitcoin dominance goes up towards that box there okay and during this move bitcoin slowly bleeds towards the 50% of the week. That would be uh, quite bad for altcoins in the short term because this is a very short term move, what I'm talking about. But in the short term, if that aligns together and it happens at the same time, it means that the altcoin market would have a considerable retrace, not a major retrace, I'm talking around maybe a 10% retrace, which would be perfectly healthy. In fact, we've seen that um, very recently, a couple of weeks ago, go to the total three guys. They're gonna see there. Any of these retraces here is pretty much a 10%. You see there, 10%. Here it's even higher, 13%. Okay, but it's true that if those things go at the same time, which is that the Bitcoin dominance goes up while Bitcoin goes down, then altcoins are gonna retrace considerably perhaps towards this level, which if you notice this move here, it's a bit of extended and it would be nice if we can test the support of the daily 50 MA. So who knows? It's possible that we have another opportunity in altcoins. And I laugh because it keeps happening, okay? The altcoin market keeps giving us opportunities to, to get in. Um, although it's true that we should have got in on all our positions early in September, October, and we took some entries, it's never late because it's possible that it does something like this, okay? And this is the retreat you want to get, take advantage of if it happens because you are following the trend to the upside, all right? So uh, based on that, we're going to go into a couple of, uh, of altcoins, but not many. First of all, Solana, okay? Solana, if you notice, I'm going to talk about two potential trades. The current trade that I'm in for this weekend is this. I posted it on the Telegram, on my Telegram channel. It's free. It's in the description. Feel free to join. Um, I post there quite often and it's completely free. What I'm thinking is that it's likely that Solana is the next one to pop up. Uh, it could even be this weekend. Now, it's a Tuesday night, so perhaps tomorrow on Sunday, it's likely that 
he reaches this level here at least around 250 that's what i'm hoping for retrace to the 4 or 50 ma okay you can see how this area it's holding pretty well although there is a few weeks below it but overall i think that there is possibility for upside momentum over the weekend okay or early at the start of next week especially if bitcoin sweeps those highs then yes yeah, solana can can pull this move pretty easily okay so that's the trade that i'm currently in and then for a spot if we go to the daily time frame i was talking in my last video about 210 because that would be pretty much going to this previous high okay and also testing the daily 50 main and we didn't get there by five four dollars okay we went to 215 not to 210 so i couldn't take that extra entry in my spot position but still it's possible okay if i again if we see that bitcoin dominance low time frame move up and bitcoin going down in the short term and that happens at the same time then solana is still gonna give us that entry at the daily 50 may right that's still possible then hopefully it continues going up but what i say is that we should be prepared for those scenarios too and that's why even a bull market is good to have some usdts on the side some stables because there is always potential re-entries to your already uh, open trades or open positions or spot packs okay um if we get there that's what i'm adding uh, size to my spot box so let's see if we get that then another one is tia that's another token that we've been talking about that it's consolidation here at the lows you got them there sooner even and i do think that it's gonna eventually gonna get there to 12 dollars okay to this pivot point so again i told you i'm not selling any of my tokens now it's possible that it's still gonna happen uh, something like this even lower that deviation below the zero line test the daily 50 ma and that would happen if we have the bitcoin dominance going up bitcoin going down at the same time then yes it's possible that we could still see seven dollars in tia if that happens no problem we can re-enter that zone and then hope that price should go to 12 dollars in the next few weeks all right so just giving you a few ideas guys and then another token that i've entered recently is i think is this one i didn't get the right chart this one okay destra i took an entry seed of 40 and i was lucky because in my exchange it got triggered here a seed of 41 so i got lucky there but my point is that again why couldn't we see a sharp retrace to here it's possible okay if that happens then re-entry because price should go higher okay and we can see this with many different charts also another entry that i took already or the um i saw this chart on on x well not, not the chart but i saw the the token getting named on x so i took this entry but that's my risk management for my trade but you can see here the momentum okay you can see here this curve of price it's heading to the upside it feels like the downtrend is over we've been ranging but at the same time as making higher lows and higher highs and price would eventually go back to the highs All right so um again who knows perhaps we have another re-entry here okay it's possible these are the things that you should be prepared of um you can be taking you could take some some longs at the moment but be also considering the idea that it's possible that we see a little retrace again okay and that's something of course we should take advantage of so that's pretty much everything guys let me check my notes yeah i've mentioned everything that i wanted to say guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon well i'll see i'll see you tomorrow with the bitcoin soon update thank you for watching